In this video, I'm going to show you four cool things that you can now do in Premiere's new text panel. Three, two, one. Here we go! Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus filmmaking tip. All right, with the release of Premiere version 22 comes a bunch of cool new features, including speech to text, remix available in beta, which helps you quickly edit your music. But maybe my favorite new features are found in the new text panel. So today I wanted to show you four things that I found in the text panel that will allow you to work more efficiently and save you tons of time in the edit. So let's do it. As mentioned, I'm in Premiere version 22.1.2, so if yours is older or newer, it might look slightly different. So once you put some text on your clip and double click on it, it will now open the new text panel. Which brings us to the first thing I like about the text panel, and that is all of your titles are now in one place. This might not sound like a big deal at first, but let me show you why it matters. So here's the text panel, and here you'll find a list of all your titles. And now you can easily click from one title to the next, making necessary changes to each one right there in one place, rather than scrolling through your timeline to find each one. And if you'd like to see just the titles on video track two, you can simply use the filter up here to select track two, or you can keep it on all tracks to see all the text in your piece. This was a real game changer for me, and I started using it right away. And speaking of game changers, here's the second game changer in the text panel. Spell check. That's right, you heard me correctly. Oh my god, how long have editors been pining for a spell check feature in their NLEs? Forever. Seriously. Thank you, Adobe. So previously, in order to spell check all my Chiron and titles, I used to type them up in Mac Pages. Then I'd copy and paste my text into the text editor in Premiere. But now there's no more of that. To access the spell check feature, simply click on the three dots in the upper right of the text panel and scroll down to spell check. And now your misspelled words will be highlighted. And then you can change one at a time or this brings us to the third cool update to the text panel, and that is the new find and replace feature. So say you edited your whole piece and you realize that you spelled somebody's name wrong throughout the whole thing. Now you can easily find each instance of their name by going to the search field here in the upper left and typing in their name. And now you'll see it highlighted wherever it appears in your piece. And now you can hit this little recycle looking icon here. And now you have the option to replace one or all instances of that misspelled word. Goodbye to the days of scouring an hour and a half video to look for every instance of a misspelled word. Amazing. So those are the new things I'm most excited about in the text panel. But while we're here, let's take a look at some of the other cool things that the new text panel does. Like now it has the ability to transcribe and auto-generate captions for your piece. I don't do a ton of captioning, but this is a really useful feature for someone who does. To use it, click on the transcript tab and hit create transcription. Then once you have your transcript, you'll see it here. Then you can hit the Create Captions button, and Premiere will generate these orange caption clips that include the text of your dialogue, and place them above the corresponding clips in your piece. And if Premiere got something wrong, you can just edit the text in the Captions tab. And then you can even export a list of all your captions if you choose, like I'm doing here with this CSV. And now I have a nice little document of all my captions and their corresponding timestamps. Pretty awesome, no? So yeah, check out the new text panel. It's probably one of the most significant upgrades I've seen Adobe do for Premiere in years. Speaking of Premiere, if you're just starting out and you need an all-inclusive starter video to get you up and running, check out my Learn Premiere in 10 Minutes video. I'll link it below. All right, let's do that tip.
Want a quick way to find out what new features you're getting with the latest Premiere update? Take a minute to read Adobe's release notes. To find them, simply do an internet search for Adobe Premiere release notes, and a link to Adobe's summary of what's new in the latest version of Premiere will pop up. And then you'll be able to start using those cool new features that much faster, because you'll know what to look for before you even open the program. Sweet. All right, hopefully you found some of this helpful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.